Nimravids appeared in the middle of the Eocene epoch. The global climate at this time was warm and wet, but was trending cooler and drier toward the late Eocene. The lush forests of the Eocene were transforming to scrub and open woodland. Although some Nimravids physically resembled the saber-toothed cats of the genus Smilodon, they were not closely related, but evolved a similar form through parallel evolution. Hoplophanius, though not a true cat, was similar to cats in outward appearance, though with a robust body and shorter legs. Dinictus likely evolved from an early Miachis-like ancestor that lived in the Paleocene. It looked like a small leopard, it was probably not so particular about its food as its descendants, since the reduction of its teeth was still in the early stages and Dinictus had not forgotten how to chew. Despite this, in its own environment it would have been a powerful predator. The masked palm civet is a nocturnal solitary predator that is occasionally active during the day. It is partly arboreal. When alarmed, the animal sprays a secretion from its anal gland against the predator. The spray is similar in function to that of a skunk, and its conspicuousness serves to deter other predators. Its major threats are continued habitat destruction and hunting for bushmeat. Unlike many of its relatives in the order Carnivora, the aardwolf does not hunt large animals. It eats insects and their larvae using its long sticky tongue. They have often been mistaken for solitary animals. In fact, they live as monogamous pairs with their young. Recent studies have suggested that the aardwolf probably broke away from the rest of the hyena family early. It is the smallest of the true hyenas and retains many primitive viverid characteristics lost in larger species, having a smaller and less specialized skull. Though primarily a scavenger, large specimens have been known to kill their own prey, and attacks on humans have occurred on rare instances. Although it has a habit of feigning death when attacked, it has been known to stand its ground against larger predators in disputes over food. The spotted hyena is a highly successful animal, being the most common large carnivore in Africa. Its success is due in part to its adaptability and opportunism, it is primarily a hunter but may also scavenge, with the capacity to eat and digest skin, bone and other animal waste. The social system of the spotted hyena is openly competitive rather than cooperative, its society is matriarchal, females are larger than males, and dominate them. The genitalia of the female closely resembles that of the male, the clitoris is shaped and positioned like a penis, a pseudo-penis, and is capable of erection. Herpestidae, which are small feliform carnivorans native to southern Eurasia and mainland Africa. Mongooses have receptors for acetylcholine that, like the receptors in snakes, are shaped so that it is impossible for snake neurotoxin venom to attach to them. Mongooses are one of four known mammalian taxa with mutations in the nicotinic acetylcholine receptor that protect against snake venom. There is generally no strict hierarchy in mongoose groups and aggression is low. Most aggression and hierarchical behavior occurs between males when females are in estrus. The fossa is the largest mammalian carnivore on the island of Madagascar and has been compared to a small cougar. Its classification, along with that of the other Malagasy carnivores, influenced hypotheses about how many times mammalian carnivores have colonized the island. They are now thought to have colonized the island once, around 18 to 20 million years ago. The species is widespread, although population densities are usually low. It is found solely in forested habitat, and actively hunts both by day and night. Proelurus is largely considered to be the first true cat and the ancestor of the entire cat family. Most studies support this, placing Proelurus as the basal member of the Felidae. It was a compact and small animal, just a little larger than the domestic cat. During the Miocene, it gave way to Pseudelorus. 
It is believed to be the latest common ancestor of the two extant subfamilies and the extinct subfamily, Macherodontinae. Macherodus seemed to prefer open woodland habitat, it would have hunted large herbivores of the time. Its skull was noticeably narrow compared with the skulls of extant pantheran cats, and the orbits were relatively small. The canines were long, thin and flattened from side to side but broad from front to back like the blade of a knife, as in Homotherium. Based on Homotherium's preference for open habitats such as plains and comparisons with modern cats, it is considered likely that it would have been plainly colored like lions to better camouflage itself. Megantarian was built like a large modern jaguar, but somewhat heavier. It may have preyed on larger prey. Despite its size, it would have also likely been scansorial and therefore able to climb trees. It used its long saber teeth to deliver a killing throat bite and may have been the ancestor of Smilodon. One of the most fascinating facts about Smilodon is that while it is often referred to as a saber-toothed tiger, it really wasn't a tiger. It is actually distantly related to modern lions and cheetahs. It had jaws that were exceptionally weak. This combination of weak jaws and brittle teeth meant that this carnivore really couldn't bite down with much force. That's not to say they weren't dangerous because that isn't true at all. These big cats still managed to take down their prey without a whole lot of problems. However, its teeth were very brittle and would often break off while they were using them. And once one of their teeth had broken, then it would never come back. Paleontologists aren't sure if Smilodon was a solitary cat or if it hunted in packs.